What is the deal with mall grabbing? Last month, I put out a video for April Fools, which was a satirical look at a few things that posers might do to look like they skate. And while this video went over a few people's heads and they didn't realize it was a joke, one comment I kept getting was, what's so wrong about mall grabbing? So I decided to make this quick video explaining the phenomenon and giving my opinion on whether or not I think it's okay. First off, let's define mall grab. Mall grabbing is when you grab, pick up, or carry your board by the trucks. And that's about it. It gets its name from kids standing around at malls holding skateboards as a fashion accessory more than anything else. Pretty soon the word mall grab was born and it became synonymous with posers. Essentially, it's just a fashion trend that's looked down upon by a lot of skaters. But is that really true? Besides making you look like a poser, let's look at a few of the other arguments for why people say you shouldn't mall grab. Argument one is that holding the board with the grip tape against your pants is like rubbing sandpaper against your leg and will eventually rip your pants and cause them to be ruined. Well, if you've ever actually tried mall grabbing and walking around, you've probably noticed that the contact between your grip tape and your pants is pretty minimal. In fact, when I do it, there's no back and forth rubbing of the grip tape against my pants at all. I would say that arguably holding your board like this is much worse for your pants if that's what you're concerned about. Which brings me to my next point. That's fine if you don't like your pants being ruined, but why do you care if someone else rips their pants? By all means, you don't have to mall grab, but saying someone else can't because you're concerned about their pants does not make any sense. That's like me telling you not to ollie because it'll rip your shoes. In my opinion, skateboarding is about skateboarding and it's not about fashion, so just go do some tray flips. Anyway, you can make specious arguments against holding your board in pretty much any position. Mall grabbing makes you look like a poser. Holding your board like this will rip your shirt and pants. If you skate larger decks like I do, holding the board by the nose just causes the tail to scrape on the ground. And even this way, which is my preferred method, can feel awkward to a new skater because the board just wants to flip over. Argument two is that it's harder to throw your board down from the mall grab position. Now this one I completely agree with, but I have a really easy fix. Watch this little move right here. Yep, you just switch hands and then throw the board down. And once again, I'd say that's fine if you don't want to deal with all that, but there's no reason why you should be concerned with how someone else wants to hold and throw their board down. The bottom line is that sometimes mall grabbing is just the most convenient way to pick up your board. Sometimes when you have to bend down to pick the board up, the trucks are the first thing there. Just like how the board can be in any position when you go to pick it up. It really doesn't matter and it's all about convenience. The point is that no matter how you prefer to hold your board, you should never have to stop and think about how you want to pick it up because others are going to view you in a certain way. In summary, all I have to say is that the concept of not being allowed to grab your trucks or else you'll be labeled a poser is kind of stupid to me. But in reality, people probably will call you out, especially in YouTube videos. So if you do choose to mall grab, then be prepared for that. But really, I don't think you should let it bother you. We all like to repeat the mantras that skateboarding is supposed to be fun and that we're all a community. And if you really believe that, it's just my opinion that I think you should focus on doing tricks and having fun with your friends. So just go out and skate and don't focus too hard on anything that doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'm sorry for rambling on, but I hope you like this video and you can like and subscribe if you want.